almost done with the right border. We're on the RS12 block. And this is a modified block in the book. And it has been significantly modified. I had to verify that it was the right block. And indeed it is. So this is what it's been modified to. It's been simplified to have the same general idea. It just doesn't have all these bands. So you've got solid triangles as opposed to these little bands, which gives it a lot less pieces. What I did on my block prep is I numbered each piece. When I deal with each one of these triangles, every one of these blocks, it really matters which side is which. Like each one of these sides is different. This is a mirror image of this. This is a mirror image of this, but it's really easy to get these mixed up. So it's not only important to number them, but it's also important to have, make sure that they're all pointing in the right direction. So what I've done is I put an arrow direction on which way that they're supposed to be oriented when I set them up. So each one of these has an arrow and this is not for fabric direction. This is for triangle direction. So all of these have their arrows pointing down. And the assembly on this will be, I will make a row of all five pieces, all five of these pieces, these three, these three, and this one. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go point up or bottom down or however you want to look at the up and down. But it's going to be interesting. Now, basting-wise... I don't think there's any way of not having points clash. I'm going to actually try to make the points nest a little better. I normally will do like, you know, this side, this side, this side, which will put my tags up and I'll do the same side he thing here and these points automatically clash. I'm going to see if I can make it better. Don't think so, but it's really critical to keep these in order. It's really critical to make sure that you label all of these right. And so I've done all that with the labeling and the block prep. And then when I did put them on my fabric, my fabric is kind of directional. It's got dots so that if it's on the 45, it's lined up this way. But it looks, if it's this way, it's lined up in rows. So there is kind of a direction to it. And I believe... When I put it on the fabric, I made the arrows go in the same direction, but I'm not positive because I don't, I don't remember how long ago I prepped this block. It's a matter of assembling the rows and then putting the rows together in order. So what I do is I only baste a couple pieces at a time, and then I baste the next piece and attach it. So that way I don't lose track of where I am. If I'm working or I can't have it laid out, I will pull one out of my baggie at a time. And connect it that's why I that's why I don't worry about losing my piece because I do work on these in the car at the school parking lot or at the doctor's office or whatever I try to work on these wherever so there are times where I don't have this laid out on my project box but we will get started and dive in so I've assembled my first two pieces in my top row so I'm going to base this one I've basted these so that the last sides are touching. So in other words, I did this side and then this side and then this side. And then I made this side the last one here so that the tags are opposite. So I'm just trying to see about whether or not this is going to work out. In this case, I'm going to make this side be my last side. And then this side will be the last side on this. So I will do one, two, three, and one, two, and three on these two and assemble these. Okay, so I've added a third piece on and I did this side, this side, and that side. And this one I'm going to do is one, two, and three and stick this on. Okay, now I'm going to attach number five and I'm going to do one, two, and three in order of basting. So I got my whole top row together, which is the biggest part of the triangle, and my tags actually quite nest quite well so I'm going to try the same technique on the second row and see where we end up when it matches up with the second one. Okay so I've got two rows done on my triangles and this is kind of fun because even though 
these are going up into this row and these are going down into this row, they're off center so they don't have to line up with each other. So I'm going to have, if this will stay still, which apparently it won't, So I'm going to have tags that get out of each other's way except for the ends here. So I'll be these will be these will be in here and so I this has actually worked out quite well. So I'll be able to put these two rows on and continue on with my assembly. So I got my two rows sewn together and they've nested pretty well. There's a couple, you know, these these points are on it, but it's actually better than most triangles that I've made, so I'm kind of happy with my new little basting techniques. And on the front, it's kind of a fun little design going on here, because it's different than this one, but it's still really fun. So I'll be interested to see how this shapes up as we get to the rest of the rows. Third row is now assembled, and I've basted this again with these going opposite, so we've got some good nesting going on in the row however this is going to clash with this which is to be expected so i'm going to connect these two next third row assembled and again this this is nesting but this will work out just fine and this is what we have for the design so far so i got the fourth row completed with these three pieces. The trick for this was on um, these, the 15 and 16 pieces, I basted this long side last so that I get a smoother point and a smoother edge to deal with because I'm gonna be connecting these to the solid triangles. So that gave me a little bit of an opportunity to get a sharper point here on either side. So I'm gonna then take this and connect that to this to the other rows. Fourth row attached and this is what it should look like at this point. And finally add the tip and now my RS12 triangle is completed. <laughs> 